Saturday. It's a lazy day around here and I'm just in it. I basically took the morning to sleep in and do whatever I wanted to. Magnificent! But I knew that I had to do something important with my day. Something so the masses could learn. And then the idea struck me. We need to eat dinner. So we have to go to H Mart. And at H Mart, there are lots of things that are not common to this region. Specifically, the sodas. So we're gonna go find some different things for me to try out and drink, and I'm gonna give you a nice little review for it. But H Mart's all the way on the other side of town. So let's hop in the car together and head over to H Mart. Here we go. We made it to H Mart. Time to find our thing. Which one do you want to get? That one? Yes. Small it is. N88. Yeah. Ooh, a pop. Got to get that curve All right, so we made it to the soda aisle. Dang, 179. We'll do one of these. And I'll get one of these. All right, this looks a little weird. I'll try this one. Yeah, we'll do this one as well. All right, we'll do that one too. Finally got to the Japanese drinks here. Melon or Yazu? Mm. Oh, this is so hard. I don't know which one to get. Meron Ramune. I think we got what we need, so let's go pay. Man, it was packed in there, but the one thing we couldn't get was the lettuce for our dinner. So we gotta go find it somewhere else. America. Alright, so we're back from the store. We've got all the stuff we needed because I have to choose what I'm gonna have to drink for dinner. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Kalpiko, otherwise known in Japan as Parupisu. <laughs> Ramune. This is the one with the cool little uh, marble thing in the top. You gotta go. Something Korean, but it's rice milk. What is it? Rice juice. Rice, rice juice. Rice juice. Some more Korean stuff. Meron. I think it's plum. Plum. -um. Some young coconut juice with jelly. <laughs> okay, now we're starting to get a little more strange. <laughs> Yakult. I'm already kind of used to this one, so that shouldn't be too bad. And last but not least, grass jelly drink. <laughs> I'm a little scared of this one. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. Yee! The true connoisseur always likes to waft his drink a little bit. Which one to start with, though? There's a couple of these I know I like and a couple that I'm a little scared of. <laughs> let's just start with something friendly and nice. Yakult. And you like any fine drink, you're gonna have to shake it up quite a bit. All mixed up. Yakult. Oh yeah, look at that. Swift it around. Well, that smells pretty good. Delightful! I don't think I can have this for dinner though, as this is only technically a tiny bottle. But I'll drink it up anyway. That is how you whine. That was absolutely delectable. Now let's, uh, I'm scared of that one. <laughs> let's move on to something a little less threatening. Ease our way in. The next way to go is probably with this, what is it again? Plum. Thumb with plum. Judging by the can, it's pure Korean. I don't know what that means. Oh, smells pretty good. All right, let's see. Swirling it around. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, that thing's really good. It's like Kool-Aid with magic in it. Oh, I want more of this. This is really good. This one would probably go very well with chicken fingers and fries. Ugh, that was really good. So let's keep this train rolling. I feel like that was an easy dive in. I was kind of on the edge with that one. Didn't know what was gonna happen with it, but Magnifico! So good! Now that we've dove farther in, let's go... Shike from Don Juan. Okay, I, I don't know about this. I don't know how to describe that smell. <laughs> okay. Let's just have you take a look at that. I believe this is rice drink. <laughs> I'm a little scared of this one. <laughs> if you're ever at a ginger bond, apparently this is what you drink. 
That's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. That was actually, uh, got an aftertaste. Down to the final four. Let's go with Honey Bee Yum Coconut Juice with Jelly. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, you can hear it jiggling in there. <laughs> Who comes up with jelly in a can? I mean, come on, how do they even put it in there? It's a tiny little hole. It's carbonated. What is in this thing? We've got young coconut juice, water, sugar, coconut jelly, and sodium metabisulfate. It's a product of Thailand. Okay, if you're from Thailand, you probably love this stuff. And if you're from Thailand for some reason watching this and you don't love this stuff, and you think there's something better I should try, let me know. Oh, that's not as, oh, there's the jelly. You can't really see the jelly in it. It's kind of there, but they're just little chunkies floating in there. Sorry, you can't see it. Well, <coughs> well, I poured it, so I gotta finish it. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, it's not <coughs> that bad. Uh, we're not having that one for dinner. Why'd you let me drink that? On to the next one. <laughs> All right, I need something a little different and better, probably. I know I like this one. Kalu pisu. Ah, ooh yeah, Milky White. It looks like I just put water into this cup and then also put some dish detergent in there. A subtle hint of sweetness on top of this one. Let's see. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, I can still taste the other one. Complete redemption. All right, now I'm really scared because this is another jelly one, but at least the other one was coconut. There is no English on this, so I have no idea what it is. I really don't want to drink this one. No, I paid for it. I'm going to at least taste it. I don't want to drink that one. At least if I vomit, we have wood panel floors here, so it'll be easy to clean up. Oh, that was the most ominous opening. It was like, ah, oh, it's so scary. Oh, no. Is there bleach in this thing? I don't know if I can do it. Oh, it looks like watered down Coke with some bourbon in it, maybe. Oh, I have to swish this in my mouth. <laughs> It's the aftertaste, it like chases you. It's all downhill from here. And last but not least, I'm really hoping that this is gonna be delicious. I mean, I've had some of these before and they're the best. I need this right now. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to be at the end. Oshite kudasai. Not strong enough, it took all my power away. As you can see, the marble fall floating back and forth adds to the rich aroma of the meadow. Carbonated a sulfur to the drink. Mountain Dew doesn't look like that. Let's see. That doesn't smell that good, actually. <laughs> well. It's not horrible, but I'm a little bit disappointed in the taste, if I'm gonna be quite honest with you. All right, I'm gonna rank these from seventh to first. Coming in at a sturdy number seven, this thing, burn it. Coming in at number six is going to be the other gelatinous drink, and I wanna forget. Coming in at number five, we're gonna have to put in Dong Wan. Dong Wan! Coming in at fourth place, four. Rabune. I really expected a lot more of this, especially for the price. Shame on you. Coming in at number three, Yakult. We have our podium over here, and we'll put him on the third place spot. Coming in at second, Karupisu. I really enjoy this one quite a bit. We'll put him on his little podium spot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you already probably have guessed, the number one gold medalist of this taste test extravaganza goes to a dark horse. I didn't see this one coming at all. I gotta give it up to Barry Korean something. And so I bestow on Jorok Meshi the first place prize. Man! 
That was a hoot, wasn't it? Hoot, hoot. Well, I'll tell you what. If there's anything that you would want me to try out or drink slash eat slash, I mean, whatever within reason, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll do it. For now, I gotta go make dinner so that way I can enjoy this guy. Now I know what I'll be drinking for dinner.